Okay. Uh, early, well, let me do this. Early on in Star Wars, you can see this is the Phantom Menace Darth Maul Sith Training Edition. Now, if you look, this is a real picture. And that's the actor, 22 year old, in his different gear. That never appeared in the movie. Got to be a cutscene. This is just when he's training. If you read Shadow Hunter, you know this all too well. This is the little things that he does. These are the the garb is different. You can see. Okay. The symbol was different. Still had the old Luke Skywalker holding up the uh, blue lightsaber through the years. Even after Episode One was gone. This is Collection One, a redo. He doesn't appear in this garb in the movie. Uh, let's see here. Later on, I started realizing this guy is a draw. If we're gonna put, if we're gonna put Star Wars, we're gonna put Darth Maul on the Star Wars package, and it's just gonna get people's attention. He was a very popular uh, character. Many people wanted more Darth Maul and less Jar Jar Binks. If you remember. These, of course, is doubles. I keep them together just in case. You gotta love it. I know I do. There's a card back there for the battle game that you can play if you look in there. I don't do all that stuff. Okay, various. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. This was just recently in the uh, Happy Meals McDonald's. Okay, yeah. Hold this little light, he appears in there. You could only get this guy if you buy this Star Wars Dark Side Sega set. Okay, came with three of the main bad guys through all the years you know, the Emperor, Darth Vader, and Darth Maul. Because if you turn it on the back, it tells you all that come in the series, and just a Vader, but no Emperor. No mall. You can only get it through this three piece here. And it was four ninety nine, I believe. So not a bad price. Villains playing cards has Darth Maul on it. Real simple. Open it up. He's one of the aces inside, which he should be. Not open, still in plastic. This is a pin. I don't know if it, you know, I didn't write on skin, but this came in Kellogg's, uh, what is that, uh, Sugar Frosted Flakes, years ago. Another action figure through the years. Uh, these little microchip action figures. This chin's a little different. This is plastic. This is all plastic. Here he is again. And this is like some type of material, like the jaw was a long time ago. He has lost his lightsaber, but it's down here, right here. These here, this is him on his speeder. He rides his speeder, this one right here. Uh, here's the speeder. Here's the little thing that launches. Same guy, just have him by himself. Because, you know, through the years I'll find something or... Someone will say, hey, I got this Darth Maul thing. Do you want it? And I say, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, the more the, the more you add, the better. Here was another toy from Burger King Happy Meals. Not bad. I mean, I liked it anyway. Let's see here. Moving right along, we have Darth Maul lunchbox. I love it. It's cool. Uh, of course, I have two of them. I got one and didn't realize I already had it. And then uh, went to the candy store in Slow and they had another one. I bought it because, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be, so maybe I forgot I had it. It's okay to have two. Galactic Heroes. There's the speeder. Darth Maul again. A little series that they came out in. I'm still in the packaging, looking good. Darth Maul toothbrush case. We got 
Obi Wan. Let's see. If, yeah, you got Obi Wan on the handle and Darth Maul on the handle. Colgate put it out. Jedi vs Sith. Maul. These sabers are actually pins. You take this little cap off. Oop. Yeah, there's the pin part. You turn it around like this, and you can write do, 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 if you wanted to. Here we have pencils and erasers. Darth Maul. There he's all through the pencil. He's on the eraser. Star Wars up top. Probably 15 years old. Pez dispensers. That's a Darth Maul. That's another Darth Maul. And that's another Darth Maul. And the packaging. Sometimes they get creative and they say, hey, how about if we put Star Wars on it with Darth Maul? So you know what you're getting. Two more. Not bad at all. This little guy here is just a pencil topper. But, like I said, anything Darth Maul, I'm willing to add to my collection. These little guys here are simple keychains, Lego keychains. I acquired one, and then my son gave me one. So, like I said, two, not bad. I'll keep them. That's what it's all about. This little guy, I <laughs> can't remember, but the batteries are dead. Push this button down, the light from the hologram pops up. That's what this was supposed to be. Believe it or not, this was, I believe, a Burger King toy as well. So Burger King went all in with the episode one, and so did Taco Bell. Big lots were selling episode one goodie bags. Inside the goodie bag, you had certain items. A slap band, which is right here. Uh, you had some stickers, tattoos, a mask. That's the Darth Maul mask there. I kept it just because that's how I am. This one was just filled with candy. It was just his single blade. Uh, of course, it even did things, but like I said, I don't have batteries in all these things. But it was just his single attack when he only used one blade fighting Qui-Gon the first time. Just a 3D little tablet. Not bad. I think it was at the 99 cent store. Now, before, before Disney bought Star Wars, they had, uh, they had him portrayed as Donald Duck because they couldn't put Darth Maul on there, so they had to put, like, join the duck side. Kind of a little cute play on it, but years later, after they bought it, they were able just to put Darth Maul on some mouse ears. So these are both pins. This is a Valentine sucker accompanied with these two Valentines through the years. So not bad. Uh, the Darth Maul magnet, that's all it is. It's a little magnet. The Lego Star Wars, it was at the downtown Disney store as well. This was a little stone inside of the Star Wars store in Disneyland. It's just a little Darth Maul rock with the uh, saying on the back written only two. Okay. No more, no less. This thing here is neat because if you look at it, let's see if we get a little Darth Yeah, there we go. A little Darth Maul. This came with my son's watch. It was a Darth Vader watch, but it came with this to put it on your pencil or something. I never understood it, but I kept it. Here we have the almighty two gigabyte Darth Maul USB drive. Why, I don't know, but I'm gonna use it. It's Darth Maul. Here we have Darth Maul earbuds. Here we have Darth Maul earbuds. Still in the packaging. Uh, the heads. 
stick out. Just look like you got a little Darth Maul sticking out of your head. It's pretty cool. They look like this because naturally I do have two. So I had to open one just because. Okay. All right, the Darth Maul and Sith Speeder from the Jedi Force. Three to H3 to 6. Hasbro. Got two of them because sometimes I get them. I don't remember that I got them, so I get another one. It's all good. Always good to have more than one of anything. Uh, another saber. If you if you look here, that opponent held candy. Darth Maul saber stick. <laughs> uh, well, just another of his sabers. So candy's long gone. Here we go with another candy dispenser. Uh, you put the candy in his head, you turn his body, comes out to the little hole. This bad guy likes to talk, which is all good. I'm all right with that. This is a tumbler. Now, I was smarted up on this one. Never use the bad boy. Nice glass. I say I smarted up because I got this first. And you can see the color variation. Uh, it's a coffee mug. It's set out. I used the heck out of it because, again, I didn't think I was collecting Darth Maul. I was kind of. I wasn't. But then I just said, you know, I'll stop using it all together because it ain't going to get any better. So, coffee mug, tumbler. Here, it said collectible figure and cup. So, I thought, what can we do here? This is neat. A little tumbler cup inside. He's fighting Qui-Gon in there and Obi-Wan. Now, if you look in at the, the man in there, if you can zoom in, his chin's a different color. Just like this bad boy right here. So his chin's a different color. Just like this guy, if you can get him. See, so I'm pretty sure this is the same figure. But he's encased with this. And they came in like a five character cup set and figurines. Not bad at all. Here we have a pic, real quick, that's a me in a costume. My son being Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's also the film credit guy right now. Big shout out to him. Couldn't do it without him. This was a Tatooine set. Uh, the packaging got wet and ruined, but it's when they first meet. His saber is down here somewhere. Don't worry about it. It is there, but I kept all the stuff. It's a scene, you know. And it can drop. Darth Maul then proceeds to kick Qui-Gon's uh, Jedi butt. This puzzle here is very impressive. It is only a thousand pieces, but if you look, every piece is a scene, and it creates a bigger scene. So, I doubt I'll ever even try to get this bad boy out of there. Too much for me. Uh, this is just a laser pointer. Lightsaber laser pointer. Push this down, little red dot comes everywhere. 2002, 2007. See, like I said, it's all packaging. Some of this stuff's 20 years old. Some of it's six. This is Disney again. Back before they had the rights to, you know, still Lucasfilm. Well, that's Donald Duck. That's Darth Maul. I thought that was pretty cool. This is a figurine. I sure. This is a larger scale figure. My son will naturally. Uh, just found that at a yard sale. I don't know where the saber is, but it doesn't really matter. I've always liked it. These here were picked up from Big Lots years ago. This is him fighting two Jedis years ago in the palace. Uh, moving right along here, this guy here, it's most interesting because I don't really even remember how or why I got this, 
I mean, I, I, oops, I do remember how a child at my school gave it to me, but I had never heard of him with spider legs or anything at the time. It's very tiny. I don't know the origin of why it was made or who made it, but I got it. So that's there. We're almost finished. Last two, these puzzles are the same. Never been opened, 100 piece. Great 3D effect. Big lots again, three bucks. The Jedi, the young Jedi game, Darth Maul. Roger, Roger, Darth Maul. Uh, my son's little underwear, he doesn't want me to show you that too much, so we'll move it. The uh, talking character plushie. Of course, you know, at last we'll reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. He's still in his little cardboard. You get all these guys, no problemo. Moving over to the Funko Pop 09 Darth Maul. Vinyl bobblehead. Series 2. Got the Maul. Here we have, if you remember, the earlier Eminem guy with that's a light. Here he is now. This is a dispenser. Excuse me. This is a dispenser. Everything works. It's still in the plastic, but it's Darth Maul. We kept it. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you before I say goodbye is a piggy bank Darth Maul. You put the coins in here. This thing rotates back and forth. This little head moves depending on what coins you put in there I didn't go ahead and give you a total of items I think I covered everything though uh, if you have any questions about any of this stuff where I got it or uh, what it is again if I wasn't you know could I mumble sometimes if there's anything in here that's doubles unopened and you collect Darth Maul or Star Wars and you think that you might want to trade something that I have two of. Uh, if you have something of Darth Maul, I will trade you. For now, that's all I got. Uh, it continually grows. Darth Maul continues to be a popular character in the Star Wars canon. Uh, he's all the way through the Star Wars Rebels. He's in that. He's in the Clone Wars. Uh, he was in the Han Solo trilogy or the Han Solo movie. A cameo appearance, so that means you'll probably be in some more uh, down the line. I'm hoping that they do a little spin off just of his story, that would be cool. But uh, again, this is my Darth Maul collection, started in 2000 and it's 2020 now. And I just added a piece th three days ago, which was my son bought me the Obi Wan and the Darth Maul mini Funko Pop. So Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit it in the comments down below. Have a good one. I will tell you, may the force be with you. Mm. But I'm a Sith Lord.